Hello. This optimization problems are a very good application for derivatives. In particular, the first derivative and finding the critical points of a function. These problems are usually formulated in plain English. Therefore, it's going to be your responsibility to create the mathematical model for your problem. That's why you may find it a little more difficult, but with enough training you should be able to solve any of the optimization problems with great pleasure. In order to be able to do this, it's imperative to have a plan. Let's actually look at a few steps that you should be uh, following when solving any optimization problem. The first step is one that makes appeal to your common sense. So, make sure to understand the question that's being asked. If you don't understand, you won't be able to find a solution for something. The next very important step would be to identify the independent variable. As important is also to identify the dependent variable as well, the one that you need to optimize in the end. Some of these problems may come with a sketch attached. However, if they don't, it's imperative that you are the one making a sketch for, for the given situation. It's easier to visualize something that you actually have in front of your eyes on a piece of paper than to imagine all these things. Keep your mind free for uh, making other connections. Now that you have identified all the variables and you understand the problem clearly, it's time for you to create an equation and express your dependent variable in terms of your independent variable. With the function created, make sure you define the domain for this function. Pay attention to the text of the problem because sometimes they might not clearly specify it, but um, common sense should dictate some limits for your domain as well. Now that you have a function and the domain is clear to you, and you have uh, put all the restrictions that were necessary for its domain, you are ready to differentiate your function. This is the method to calculate your critical points, and uh, that would be what you should do with your derivative of your function. And uh, the critical points will help you to, to determine which are your maxima and minima points of your function. Don't forget to calculate the values of your function at the ends of your intervals, if absolute maximum and minimum are required. After you've done all these steps and your solutions are expressed in numeric values, go back to the text of the problem and make sure you express your results in the same terms of the problem. So make sure your solution is not expressed as a simple numeric value, but rather in the same terms as the question that was asked originally in the problem. So it has to make sense as an answer to that question, keeping the measuring units and everything accordingly. And this is how you approach optimization problems. I'm going to provide you with several uh, examples, but for now, thanks for watching.